So we will have our short prayer. Kanasir. Okay. A moment of silence, please. Are you ready to pray? Let us pray. We praise you, Lord, and we thank you for the opportunity to study and prepare for a good life in the future. Bless our teachers who inspire and guide us. Bless our parents who work hard to support us. Bless our classmates and all the people who care for us. Bless us, help us to be more attentive, patient, and diligent to understand the lessons that our teachers teach us. Bless our beloved country that we may have unity, peace, and prosperity. This we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Okay. Good afternoon, Amen. everyone. Okay, welcome back again to my class. So, this um, lesson for our database is all about For a while, okay. it's all about um, architecture and schema. So this is uh, the topic intended for you to uh, that has an uh, it assigned assignment number three and assignment num um, equation number three. So last time we cut it off since we don't have enough time to continue, right? So today, um, this is our topic, architecture and schema, okay? So do you have no idea what is the, the database management architecture? Okay, so the DBMS design depends upon its architecture. Uh, the basic client server architecture is used to deal with a large number of PCs a web browser or web servers, database servers, and other components that are connected with networks. Okay, so are you familiar with networks? Uh, like, mga... <coughs> what, Narciso? Um, like what? Hey, hola, na, sir. Okay, continue. Maybe you have a an idea. Ang transactions maybe example po na siya sa network, sir. Um, network nope. Um, a good idea for that is um because our the data will be transmitted and uh submitted to our to the network. So this is um, our pathway, our our road to access those data. So that is why in our database we have to know our doc, the architecture. Like for example, in the Globe Delco, can you see? It? Uh, just imagine, in the Globe Delco, they have data, right? The number of the uh, like sa telco, telecommunications, like sa Globe, sa Smart, and other telco uh, available in 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 the Philippines. So in the telco, they have their database, like for example, the list of uh, active numbers used in the user, okay, their geographical uh, information of how many uh, towers they have, okay, so all of those things right, in the database also, uh, the promos, right? Imagine, no, in the in, you can uh, because uh, ala, uh, we have um, thousands or millions are subscriber to a particular uh, telco. Sometimes di nakaka di nakakakuan di nakaka avail for some promos, right? Mot dana ka. 
because there is a limitation and they can check it on your database. Na pila na ka naka-register sa CA10, CA20, yung makabalo po sila na kano sa sama expire, right? So there are data on the uh, in the telco. And we the the telco company cannot give uh, those data those like for example promo if we don't have network even though uh, we don't even know where is the the main the main the main um, server from telco globe telco uh uh company but here in in negros we can uh, really uh, experience um, or we can uh, use some telcos like sa Globe because of the network. Even though um, we are here in Net Negros, but the database that in the any in the telco like Globe, we can use it. We can one we are the uh, uh, other user that uses their database. So probably that that is why the meaning for the art uh, the, archi the architecture is need to the client server architecture and also the web browsers or the PC and the database servers and also one of the component also is knowing the networks with our class we don't really talk about networks there is another course for you for network probably next semester for your net data communication at one because that is our pathway so our our main a main focus here is how we can create and uh, structure our database okay so we'll continue so the client server architecture consists of many pcs and workstation which are connected via the network so another thing like for example for a short uh, short um description of a network who among you here tried to play Dota? Sure. Uh, oh, Nurse so right? So, or kuan na lang. ML. Or any other games like ML. Crossfire. Crossfire, uh, sir. Crossfire. Diba? You have your friends playing those games? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. But you are you are playing with the same room virtually? Yes sir. No. Okay. That is because of our network. Okay? So we're being networked together in that particular room. Without the network you cannot play the game together. Okay, that is one good uh example of network. Like for example, if there is a Wi Fi that you are connected in your home or any in other places that you are connected all of your computers or phones are connected you can locally con be connected without using the internet so those um, computers or laptops or mobile phones are connected to a Wi-Fi you can transmit data if that if there is one of those a machine is a server that has a database all of you that is connected to the Wi-Fi can access the database so meaning uh, the database can be really shared through network so network is the pathway the the road to 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 access those data from the database okay that's really one good important for network okay and right now because of the internet internet is our network so that is why the database for the facebook every one of us has a facebook right and facebook has a um, server that has a data so we can log in in our account through our username and password and without the internet connection that we have we cannot access it right we cannot access to the server or the, the application so we did not go directly to the database from the from the Facebook, but ni agi tao application like atong Facebook app, right? Or sa Google Chrome na ni login ta. We use another application to access our data. So that is a one good, um, good why we have a network. 
Okay, so DBMS architecture depends upon how users are connected to the database to get their request done. Okay, so that's all of us are uh, need to be connected in order for us to access some data in our database. Okay, so these are the DBMS architecture. Uh, first one is the one tier arch architecture, two tier architecture, and three tier architecture. So these are the three types of architecture in the database that we are going to study. Okay, so first is okay, database architecture can be seen as a single tier, okay, multi tier, but locally, sorry, logically, database architecture is two types like two tier architecture and three tier architecture. So I told you to discuss current. Okay. Now we are now on the first tier architecture, and we, we sometimes we call it single tier architecture. In this architecture, the database is directly available to the user. It means that the user can directly sit on the, 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 the database management system and uses it. Any changes done here will directly be done on the database itself. It doesn't provide a handy tool for end user. Okay. Then that the one tier architecture is used for development of the local applications where programmers can directly communicate with the database for the quick response. Remember last meeting? Who are the kisama tong naka attend last meeting? Diba I, I presented to you what is a database? I opened it to you. Yes, sir. Yes. So my machine right now has a database management system or a tool so when i do programming when i do creating system um, i have can access directly to the database and my um, scenario is actually we call it single tier architecture or the first tier architecture commonly those programmers can directly communicate with the database are considered as the f in the first tier or the f the first tier architecture or the one tier architecture or the single tier architecture we as the, de the developer the programmer uh, uses the single tier architecture the database installed in our computer and we can access it directly and we are doing structuring and also querying of the data on our database so that is the use of the single tier architecture so kita as a database administrator or the programmers so any question about the first tier architecture none sir none uh, about the others none sir uh, okay so now we will now move into the same uh, the two tier architecture okay so this is now the two tier architecture so as you can see on the diagram there is a database there is a client one client two and client three okay so we have now different computers can access it and the way they access it probably they are using network right because if you cannot access uh, without a network you should have a connection before you have a net uh, you have to, to to access some data from our database so basically there is a network there uh, and then they will accessing uh, the database from the network so the two tier architecture is same as the basic client server okay in the two okay you can see what is what can you have an idea what is client server There is a client and there is a server. Okay, database is the server. And the three um, PCs is the client. Right? So, right now, for example, kita naman tayo, mga, naman tayo Facebook application. So, all of us has a Facebook and we have, we have an internet connection. So, the Facebook app established internet connection from the a database of the Facebook 
right? So, wala tayong ibuat, Ana. Only, we need to install the Facebook app so we can uh, log in or create our account. So, kita na na iPhone, accessing the application is what we call the client. So, that is why we call it client server. Client server. So, there is a server that rendering some app, um, some services and there is the client who is um, um, accessing those uh, information. So, going back on the definition, in the two-tier architecture, applications on the client and end can directly communicate with the database. At the server side, uh, for this in uh, interaction, use API uh, like ODBC or GDBC are used. So, these are the connections to the database. So, this two-tier architecture, not really as nakita. Uh, like, for example, uh, Facebook and Kita as a client. We are not in the set two second or the two-tier architecture. It's still the same. It is um, like a development team where there is a server and there is also locally um, all of the all of the programmers can access it to the network and they can share some um, connection from the database that really intended for the two-tier uh, two architecture. So they have direct also access to the database. So meaning the client one has a direct access to the database. Client two has a direct access for the database and the client three has a direct uh, access to the database and they have different access levels and they have they have the they have also restrictions how they access the database okay the user interfaces and application programs are run on the client side it's the same thing okay so like katong ato ang mga applications that is what we call user interfaces or an application kanang ato ang facebook app diba like for example, sa tong Google Classroom, Google Classroom is the interface and application. You have data dito, di ba? All your assignments, all your your classworks are posted there, and also your grades. Without without the Google Classroom app, you cannot access really the database of the Google services. So we need an uh, interface and application to run out the client side. So this are uh, this one. So typically, we cannot directly access no the database. Question for the second tier or the two tier architecture. Answer. Answer. Okay, then the server side is responsible to provide the functionalities like query processing and transaction management. Okay, so nanasya for example sa client side. Um, do you have the user interface? Okay, so like for example, I'll just open my another. Yeah, uh, probably this one. Okay, I'll just minimize here for a while. Okay, I have here my Facebook, right? I uh, can you see my screen? Uh, yeah. So, oh, we don't have any connection. I don't know. Can you hear me? Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wala ko nawala ang connection. Or... Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So, this is yes, what sir. we call the interface. Sir. Yeah. Claro ra? Hello, yes, Clara. Sir. Okay. So, uh, may I continue? This yes, is what sir. we call the interface that we are talking about. Um, we have data like mo post ka. You have the data. Um, then, you write your data there. So, this is the application that the, the client, us, can interact. We cannot really fill the database itself because that is the developer's site. But us, as the client, we can uh, uh, post any uh, anything there 
i-post na nimo mas save silang database without even uh, knowing that it was saved in their database. But you benefit the, D the DBMS. Right? So when you post, there is another, uh, the, the, the server will save this post, it will process it on the server side, uh, it will save it to the to the server and then it will go back again for your response and now what happened in your in your in your, in the client side you have the response that is already posted then you have you have friends there that who will who will react on your post it will save on the database without knowing that it was saved in the database and it also retrieved it uh, some data from the database without even knowing that it was saved in the database so that is this one is what we called the interfaces or the application. So the us here is the client that accesses data from the database without really accessing it uh, entirely, right? So that is the meaning for the same uh, two-tier architecture. Okay, to communicate with the DBMS, client-side application establishes a connection with the server side. So kita as a client we don't want we don't have that connectivity only the the application okay then here we have the three type architecture and this is what we are the common one same lang sila uh, from the from the second tier to the third tier the same but nadungagang lang ang server okay basically ang database is a server siya pero karon there is another another server that separated from the database so facebook is doing like this one katok ang explain niyo is just a direct uh, selling of what is the client and the uh, and the server side right so right now it is now separated from the server and database so from client to server and the database so a three-tier architecture contains another layer between the client and the server and this architecture client can directly communicate with the server the application on the client end interacts with the, an application server which further communicates with the database systems. Okay. End user has no idea about the existence of the database that I am explaining you Gania, beyond the application server. The database also has no idea about any other user beyond the application. Okay. The three architecture is used case for large web application. So like Facebook, right? So, the same thing lang. Naduagan lang sa server. So, why it is one good advantage for this one is, for example, if you, if you are um, adding uh, physical storage, so, makakita ni mo na mag-add ka, dili na ma-affect ang server. So, mag-add ka, for example, not na na mo hard disk, you have run out of storage. So you add you are you add your your storage capacity. So bisa nag nag add ka, you still have run time. You have still running the server without affecting the client. Na naka maintain pa ka because you're just adding it here. So k compare at nung two two way or two tier architecture kung mag koan ang database up maintain all of the clients will not. Uh, will be affected. So, question for the second tire and the third tire. It's more likely the same, but only the add lang sa server. Any questions? Hello, can you hear still me here? Wala lang? Answer. None? None, sir. Okay. None, sir. So, the goal of the three tier client server architecture is to separate the user applications and physical database. Why? It is because database is the heart and soul of any organization. 
if anyone can access the, the like the first tier um, architecture like the programmer what happened if, if you accidentally for those programmers studied database management system that can know how can we access and how can well, how, we, how we can manipulate our database but for those who did not uh, even I have an idea about the database then uh, for example um, um, luckily and luckily he delete all the data so what happened all the data from that company will be no more and that is a problem right so make sure that we have to separate or some like for example hacking so if we keep um, those things that it is no server which is don't have a properly pro property a proxies uh, we call it um, uh, firewalls that anyone can access it directly so probably the data from our database will be used from some sort of uh, hacking uh, scenario so we need to provide uh, to prohibit that one to support DBMS characteristics so katong ato ang characteristics sa database mo tong ato ang acid no authenticity blah blah, blah. so nata sa sa, sa sa last slide uh, the abbreviation for that is acid uh, then program data independence Okay, so that is that thing that I told you a while ago that if you upgrade some storage or there is a problem for maintenance, not everyone will be affected so because there are separate layers for every uh, processes. And support multiple views of data. Yeah, because there are different kinds of users. Right for the administrator, the the they see data in in not the same data that we are viewing, like on Facebook, like on YouTube, or any other applications that are using. Like for example, in Google Classroom, you view, uh, you only view your your assignments, right? You cannot view the others your classmates' assignment. But in my case, as it in uh, as an instructor. I can view all of the students' um, activities, but only you, as students, you only mind your own. So different views for for different uh, users. The supports, diba? So DBMS supports that kind of um, features. So those are the four uh, goals, no? Or we call it the. Uh, advantages or having a goal goal for the three tier architecture so activity time are you ready yes sir okay so give an example that uses one tier architecture give example of applications that using one tier architecture Ah, para madali na lang ni, just screenshot, then I will just, um, just think of it, then ako rin magamarok assignment dito sa ito ang Google Classroom. So, think an um, application or scenario that really, uh, first tier architecture is really used. Okay? That is one, activity number one. Okay, two, Give two scenarios that uses two tire architecture. Okay, everyone who had finished doing the screenshot. Yes, sir. Okay. Then number three, give situations and applications that uses three tier architecture so facebook and google classroom is already been banned i already give you an example for that one since all of those are using uh, three tier architecture so you will find on your own some applications or situations that uses three tier architecture sir yes i have a question sir regarding sa Pass activity, bagani, sir, katong give 
five situation and five applications sir in answer ni ang paggama ato sir kay i-form siya ko ng mga ay mga diagram or answer katong pariya ba atong rag mag katong example mo sir na client server na yun isa basically na to on siya ang situation uh, it depends on you it depends it is paragraph form uh, if you will feel free to create a diagram so for easily to easily um, to easily describe for your uh, form because diagrams can easily be understood rather than um, doing your essay so it depends on you depende lang gininyo how how can you answer it paragraph sir then then mantanan ang ko answer sa ang situation o ang application mo igam on ay uh, isulat yes yeah, sa, sa previous sa previous five five sir no Sa so, asa man ta, we are on sa inyong pangota na, karoon na topic or itong sa previous assignment number two? Katong sa previous assignment, sir. Ah, yes. For us, previous assignment mo to. Okay lang. So, depende, oh, inyara, sorry, inyara ba na inyo diagram, inyo ba ng i-paragraph form, it depends on you. As long as I can see the situations and everything that I am asking for you. Okay, sir. Sir, thank you. Okay, so yes, can, can we now move on? Okay, for the summary, so uh, yes, sir. only we only have three, uh, three eight numbers for our activity, right? So, summary an architecture of the BMS helps in design, helps in design, development, implementation, and maintenance of the database. The simplest database system architecture is first out of one time where the client server and the database all resides the same machine so mo yun yun yung timanan okay architecture first tire architecture or single tire architecture uh the, the the all of those things client the server and the database all resides on the same machine the two tire architecture is a database architecture in dbms where presentation layer runs on the client and the data is stored on the server so just to imagine that there is a database and the other one is uh, uh, for the presentation or using those uh, data from the database. Then the three-tier client server architecture consists of the presentation layer, PC, tablet, mobile phone, or etc. And we have the application layer, which is the server, katong ato ang mga applications like Facebook, YouTube, whatsoever, application, Google Classroom, and the database server that uses those applications. So, na tayo to local layer. That is three-tire client server architecture. So, that is the reference. So, any questions, clarifications for this topic? Yes, sir. 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 Yes, sir.